We had a, my friend Peria, he was a pessimist. You know, there is a pessimist and an optimist, you know? I used to go very often to, to, to Belsky because I told the boys, if Belsky do not say no, it means that he, he accepts you in his camp. People came to him because he had risky, he made himself risky. He had everything there. I was a beautiful girls. I had a girlfriend too before I met my wife. And he going to have a good time. Everybody wanted to go with me. Everybody wanted to go with me. Did you know that if they make it, they wear white, they go to a bell, they're going to have a good time. You see what I mean? So Belsky said to me, you have to get more connections with the outside, that means from the outside wood, with Moscow. I said to him, Tobia, we have to make, build a little platform. The plane should be able to land in a second and to go. One, two, three should be done. So he makes quite a this will see, can be here over here. I said, why are you showing this to me? He said, it will never happen. That's it, never happen. He was, uh, I respect him, he was older than me, you know, after all, he was a commander. I said, tell you it will happen. And let's do it, let's do it the way I do. And he had a lot of boys. Next day we came, we clean up, we put it in uh, from the trees, we t put it in to put it on, nobody should know what it is. Next day we came down and all of a sudden we hear, mm. I said, tell me, a plane is coming and I should see my son over here, I'm going to cry. I said, tell me, the plane is going to end it soon, you're going to see a plane. He says, if this is going to be, I'll change my mind. Because it was a pessimist, he didn't believe it. And the plane landed, and they bring us alcohol, you know, medical supplies, you know. And they picked up, you know, Jackie, who they picked up? Monka's son of the Monka's wife's brother. He was wounded. And they put him on the plane, and they took him to Moscow. She says, how? Don't tell nobody any <laughs> story.